Hi guys, it's me the Cool Loser, and if you are looking to be rooted, or maybe you're already rooted, in this video I'm going to show you how to backup, how to delete system applications, how to download and install custom ROMs. So let's do it to it. If you're familiar with the Galaxy Nexus devices, you'll see that this is differently than the stock one. And I am running on a custom ROM. As you can see here, I can tap on here. You can see I got current weather and then my calendar results. And let's open it. And that's not normal for a stock Nexus. Now let me go into the settings. And go to about phone. And I will show you what the stuff is on it. Android 4.1.1. So it's the latest one and the kernel baked. It's called Jally Baked 2. Everything works on it except for one thing. Google Talk didn't want to work. And you see in the settings it has different colors here for the like little icons. That's basically like little changes. But this is the device control area where you would want to control everything that's on this device. Baked ROM control. But I'm not going to go into this custom ROM. I'll do a custom ROM user experience later on. I can't show you how to root your device because there's so many different methods and I don't know what phone you have so I can't help you there. Because once you're starting to root you might lose everything and it'll just factory reset it. If you want important stuff to be saved then save it on your computer, connect it to your PC and drag all those files. So you're going to have to go into your SD card and then later on once you're ready rooted import all that stuff back on your phone. Some devices won't wipe everything on your phone. Once you're rooted, you'll just have like a little patch and it restarts your phone and it looks like normal, but you are rooted this time. Well, this is where you want to go into Titanium Backup. Titanium Backup is a free application and it's a paid application. I've been on the free one for, I don't know, two, three years already and I've been fine with the free version. And here's the backup and restore area. When you're in the backup restore area, these are all the applications that are installed on your phone. So whenever you want to back up something, let's say Apex Launcher, I want to do backup. When you do backup, you'll see that it's currently running. I don't care. I'm going to press OK. And then it backed up and you see information up there that it's backed up. Now, let's say I do a completely new custom ROM and I lose these applications. But no worry because once you download Titanium Backup Backup from the Google Play, all this stuff is going to be saved on your memory of the phone. That's what I noticed that whatever saved on your memory of your phone after you're rooted, you'll have it saved. So you won't have to worry about losing this stuff. But you'll be able to just uh, download it and it'll find it through here. For an example, let's take off Craig's post. I'm going to select it and press uninstall. Press OK. And now it's gone. Now let's say that I had all my saved information on there, my logins, password and everything. If you don't want to re-download everything and start from scratch, this is going to be the great way to do it. Remember, go check out your Titanium Backup. Go to Craig's post. You will see that it's not highlighted. It's kind of crossed off. You want to select it. You want to press Restore App and Data. Press App and Data. It goes Install. App installed and you want to press done don't press open press done and it'll restore the data that that's what it just did and now let's go back into it and you will see Craig's post is right back there again that's how quickly it is and all the stuff is exactly how it was like if I never removed it there's others out there but titanium backup is my favorite and the most reliable and I never had trouble so that's the best one I recommend bring your games back all the same applications you have exactly how you left it with this titanium backup. Whether you want to keep it stock, but you want to be rooted, or if you have a custom ROM, it doesn't matter. Root and installer is perfect. Download it for free on the Google Play. You already know some carriers add lots of bloatware on their devices and you're like, oh my God, I hate that application. I don't ever use it. I don't need this. Well, how do you uninstall it? You can't if you're not rooted and you sometimes can't disable them, but without having to disable it, why not uninstall it fully off your phone so you get more memory and it's not running in the background, you know, you're going to be able to select it through here. I'm not going to uninstall anything. It came with a few things on the custom ROM that I never used, so I uninstalled it. But this is where you want to have it. You'll just have to check it and press uninstall. And then it'll take you to a little window saying, are you sure? And just uninstall it off your phone completely. And then you have more memory and no more of that annoying application. Root uninstaller. Really great application. Now here we have Goo Manager and ROM Manager. ROM Manager is the application that I've been using one of the longest ones. I'm going to click into it. I paid for the premium. Basically every time I go into it, I press flash 
clockwork recovery i am on the gsm if you have the sprint version of Verizon, select your right one warning flashing and recovery and you will see that it'll do its little thing that little bar is indicating your process this little animation came with a custom rom so this might be different than what you see if you're on wi-fi it'll be way quicker i'm just using my 3g good so now that it's flash clockwork recovery, that way that everything's up to date and it's gonna work exactly how it's supposed to, we can see that we can reboot into recovery. I don't really ever do anything there. The only thing that I ever come here for is to install ROM from SD card. That's if I found the custom ROM on my computer and I download it from my computer and then I transferring custom ROM file into my phone, install custom from here and look for wherever you saved it and it'll prompt you, it'll say, are you sure you wanna do this? Wipe data cached, wipe Dalvik cache. You'll see that stuff kinda of pop up. If you got your custom ROM through ROM manager, you can check your ROM update, but I did not. So ROM manager cannot update me i have to kind of do it on my own manage and restore backups this is very important for me because i do lots of custom rom testings manage and restore and you will see that i actually have a jally 2 that's when i made a whole entire backup of my system go into backup current rom this means everything exactly how it's sitting it's gonna copy identical go test out another rom and i come back by using manage and restore backups, I can go back to exactly this ROM that I got, like I never left it. Sometimes when applications are not working, it might have been forced closing on you and this might fix those problems. Partition SD card, I've never really done it because it, this actually like erases everything on your SD card, it refreshes it. If you don't have anything important and you already did like the copying to your PC, then you can do this before you import all your stuff. Yeah, pretty much. And everything else I really don't mess around with, but this is what I use ROM manager. Now a lot of you guys ask me, oh, how do you get that custom ROM? ROM manager is the way I do it. Download ROM, select it. Super user to clockwork mod is if you want to kind of update or use different little super users or clockwork mod. Once you root your device, you don't have to worry about any of this stuff because it already comes with the root. But this is just something for people who want to advance the super user or the clockwork mod. This is only the premium area right here. You can see Jellybean AOKP Nightlies. And you can see different ROMs here from different developers. If I want to install this or Cyanogen mod, click on here and you will see which ROM version I want to do. If I want to select select this one, here's the download button. I click on it and then it'll have in the notifications up here that it's downloading and once it does, once it finishes, you can either click on it or it'll pop up a little notif notification and it'll tell you, are you ready to install it? And you wanna say yes. Make sure you wipe the Dalvik cache so that it doesn't keep anything weird on it and doesn't mess up the custom ROM. Make sure you did a current backup of your ROM or just save the application and games that you really wanna save using Titanium Backup. Or you don't even have to back up anything. Up to you. So this is what I use ROM Manager for. Different custom ROMs backing up my whole entire system and reinstalling ROMs that I wanna go back to because sometimes I find one that doesn't even work and then I'm like, oh my God, I just go to manage and restore backups and install one of these. So you can see these are two different custom ROMs and I can jump to this one or that one whenever I want to. And depending how much you had on your phone for the saves, it can take anywhere from five minutes to up to 15 minutes. So depending on your processor speed as well, so that's something you don't have to freak out about if it's taking a little long. And now we have Goo Manager is another alternative to ROM Manager. You see browse compatible ROMs. So you can go here and you would choose AOKP baked ROMs. It's a little bit different laid out. Google it if you want to learn more about the custom ROM or go into more information. Make sure you know what you're going to download. And make sure you download the right current ROM for your device. Don't be downloading a Galaxy S3 on your Galaxy One or on your HTC, you know, you gotta make sure you do the right one. Browse all files, check for updates. This is where I would go for checking for updates. And you can see that I clicked on that and it says that at gaps update available. That means that might fix my Gtalk if I actually update it. Download gaps packages, so gaps, as it mean G apps for Google applications. And you will see, would you like to download the latest Google apps for your device? I'm gonna say no right now. Reboot recovery is to go into your off mode. Like if something goes wrong with your phone and you can't get it to boot up, like it's just completely not doing anything. One way to do it is take out the battery and then put it back in. And before you start it, press down and the power and you will be brought to a little window saying recovery stuff. Sometimes you have to hold actually up and down. So press them both in and then the power and then you'll get to that window. But this is where you can find custom ROMs. I love being rooted. I love having custom ROMs because there's lots of benefits to 
different rooting applications. So yeah guys, this is how I completely change all my custom ROMs, uninstall system apps, back up all my stuff, important application and games so I can bring them back to this current ROM. If I try another ROM, I can bring whatever I saved in Titania back up and put it there. Goo Manager or ROM Manager, there's other ones that you can use, but these are the two that I jump back and forth through. ROM Manager to back up, save the current ROM, flash custom ROMs. So yeah, this is what I really wanted to tell you guys. I might even put a link down below where you can go check out the benefits and reasons to root already. And oh yeah, and something I forgot to mention is that rooting your device actually voids your warranty and it can break your phone. So root at your own risk. Enjoy Android and I shall see you guys next time. Go check out my other videos for the best apps and games every Mondays and Thursdays. See you later. The cool there is in